Hello my dear students and welcome back to the chemical kinetics chapter. So in the previous class uh, we solved some of the numericals and today also we shall solve two of the numericals and then we'll continue with the next concepts okay. So today we have uh, two simple problems but uh, these two problems are such that uh, uh, most probably in the competitive or in CET examination the questions will be appearing like this okay so let us see the first problem okay now it is saying that for a reaction wherein the two moles of nitrogen pentoxide uh, is giving you four moles of nitrogen dioxide and one mole of oxygen okay for this reaction the rate of reaction is measured in terms of what here in terms of nitrogen dioxide see the rate of reaction measured as in terms of nitrogen dioxide and the value is how much 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles per liter per second means this is appearing how much in one second 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles per liter this is appearing okay what they want you to calculate it calculate the rate in terms of nitrogen pentoxide means you have to calculate the rate of a reaction in terms of uh, N2O5. How do we calculate? Very simple. First we have to write what the rate equation for this reaction and this is like this. Okay, very simple. You already know how to write the rate for a reaction. Then after writing this, what they have given in the, uh, in the uh, numerical is they have given the rate of reaction in terms of nitrogen dioxide how much this value is there so now they are asking you to calculate the rate in terms of this so what you have to do is you have to equate these two uh, rates these two rates you have to equate means uh, if one mole of nitrogen dioxide is produced per second then how many moles of nitrogen pentoxide is consumed okay therefore we have to equate these two on on equating what you will get see on equating we will get like this okay so minus 1 upon 2 into change in the concentration of nitrogen pentoxide is equal to 1 upon 4 into this value is given here okay so that uh, i have value uh, that value i have substituted here next so this two I will take this side so we will get the rate of reaction in terms of nitrogen pentoxide so two take this side so it will be 2 by 4 into 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay so on solving you will get the answer as 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 moles per liter per second this is a very simple calculation I hope you are getting it okay this is a very simple calculation okay so this is how you will solve it for one marks or two marks okay so this is the type of question that you may get in CAT also here is one more problem okay see see for a reaction so of the type what 3x is decomposing giving you what two moles of y and one mole of z it is giving again they have given the rate of the reaction in terms of x and how much the value is 0 0.072 moles per liter per second now they want you to calculate the rate in terms of y and z okay so first as usual you have to write the rate for this reaction and once you write a proper uh, rate for the reaction then you have to equate equate what first you have to calculate in terms of y why so first equate these two equations okay so i have equated here this is the value that i will get now this value has been given in the numerical so that i have substituted this so this on solving i will get 0 0.024 moles per liter per second is equal to half of the uh, y here so take to this side so we will get how much in terms of y the rate of the reaction in terms of y is how much 0 0.048 moles per liter per second in terms of y next in terms of z means now we have to equate uh, the rate of disappearance of this with the rate of appearance of z so once you equate these two what you will get now this whole value we have calculated here isn't it how much it is 0 0.024 moles per liter per second so i have on equating so this value i have already uh, calculated so that i have substituted here and i'll get this is the value in terms of z okay so these are the kind of uh, or this type of questions that you will get in the uh, competitive examinations okay so be prepared for such type of numericals 
so students now we will study the important concept that is factors affecting the rate of reaction means uh, the rate of the reaction depends on uh, certain factors which are those see here i have written six factors which mainly affect the rate of reactions okay the first one says that nature of reactants and product okay and the second one is surface area third one is light or certain radiation also we can say then fourth one is concentration of reactants fifth one is temperature and sixth one is catalyst so we shall see one by one factors how they affect the rate of a reaction okay so the first one is nature of reactants and products okay now see here <coughs> i have written uh, some examples here okay we know that in a reaction if i say say here if i write a reaction r is giving you product where what is r r is reactant and p means product see in reactants or in product there are two types which are those first one ionic species reactants can be ionic in nature so if the reactants are ionic in nature then it is found that rate is high or reaction is faster okay and second one is covalent species so reactants can be covalent in nature if the reactants are covalent in nature rate is low or reaction is slow we can say now let us uh, understand why this why this is so means when the reactants are ionic in nature why the reaction is faster and when the reactants are covalent in nature why the reaction is slower see first thing uh, we have to understand what is happening or what uh, what is a force in case of ionic species see here for your understanding say i have this only i will take okay this example if i take so then what i can write it here is that see ag plus is one ion and no3 minus and uh, no3 minus is one more ion there is no actual bond exist between them there is no bond exist it is just what a force of attraction between these two cation and anion so that force of attraction is very strong but there is no actual bond like this means a g and no3 there is no actual bond there will be what there will be force of attraction between a cation and anion okay so what will happen in this reaction actually there is no breaking of the bonds and formation of bonds you understanding what's happening here see what happens in this reaction what we have seen see agno3 silver nitrate is there and when we add silver nitrate to the uh, ammonium aqueous ammonium chloride this actually you have done in the laboratory okay so when you add silver nitrate uh, to the aqueous ammonium chloride you will see what white color precipitate you will see you will see this white color precipitate solid will settle at the bottom of the test tube when in the laboratory you have done this so what is that that is ag silver chloride you will get a white precipitate of silver chloride and we'll get in the aqueous form we are having what ammonium nitrate we are having so again here see ag plus is an ion and cl minus is an ion and here also ammonium is a positively charged and no3 minus is an ion so there is no actual bond is breaking and there is no formation of new bond therefore the reaction is faster we can say okay so therefore the reaction is faster similarly in case of an acid reacts with a base we know that acid means what this is h plus cl minus and na plus oh minus here also again an a salt plus water is formed okay so here again there is a salt so remember this that whenever the reactants are ionic in nature the reaction is always faster why faster 
बिकॉज देर इज नो एक्चुअल बॉन्ड ब्रेकिंग एंड देर इज नो एक्चुअल बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन इज जस्ट वॉट द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन टू अपोजिट अयोन इज गेटिंग एक्सचेंज हियर सी अर्यर द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन मीन्स द कैट एन वॉज सिल्वर एंड एन एन वॉज नाइट्रेट अयोन बट आफ्टर द रिएक्शन इज चेंज मीन्स हियर यू कैन सी सिल्वर इज नाउ गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड टू क्लोराइड ओके एंड अमोनियम is getting attracted to nitrate there is a exchange of the ions the force of attraction uh, getting exchanged between two different type of uh, ions okay therefore ionic if the reactants are ionic in nature then the reaction is faster now let us understand why uh, if the reactants are covalent in nature why the reaction is slow see what happens let me take the example of uh, water here see if i consider hydrogen molecules means what will happen uh, see here uh, uh, atomic orbitals of hydrogen are uh overlapped with one another similarly in case of oxygen two oxygen molecules have overlapped there is actually a bond <coughs> there is actually a bond exist like uh, here hydrogen there is a single bond existing and here oxygen there is a double bond existing okay like this okay and then water when wa water is formed we can say see oxygen and its atomic orbital is like this and hydrogen small i should have drawn okay anyways so this is your water formed isn't it this is water so now you might be understanding here what did i say there is no actual breaking of bond and there is no actual formation of bond but what is happening here here the bond is there between these two isn't it here also there is a double bond so we have this reaction consumes more energy we require energy to break this we requ we require energy to break this and we again require energy for the formation of this okay so in the process of breaking of the old bonds and formation of the new bonds more time is consumed therefore if the reactants are uh, covalent in nature then the reaction are usually slower you understanding now let us see if what is the nature of the product see uh, i hope this is now clear so you must remember students what is that if the reactants are ionic in nature reaction is faster and if the reactants are covalent in nature the reaction will be slower now let us see about something uh which of in terms of uh, products now see uh you might have heard you might have heard that see uh reaction is favored in polar solvent polar solvent or non polar solvent polar solvent or non polar solvent now what is meant by polar solvent and what is meant by non polar solvent example let us see so or uh, so what example for po polar solvents like water is there hcl or acid and base i can write in generally so acids acid and base okay these are the example for some of the polar solvents non polar solvents okay so now non polar means here carbon tetrachloride will come okay ethers will come okay then benzene is there okay So there are so many uh, non-polar uh, solvents are there. Okay, you you might be knowing what is meant by polar and non-polar. Polar means what? There exists polarity. Means if I write now example water only, if I write uh, you will be knowing that this is your uh, structure of H2O. Here lone pair of electrons are there. isn't it so oxygen is slightly negatively charged whereas hydrogens are slightly positive charge so within the same molecule there exist what polarity then such solvents are called as polar solvent and non polar means here carbon tetrachloride means everywhere chlorine is surrounded 
with the carbon so there is no actual polarity so there is the polarity is zero therefore it is called as non polar now if i say the reaction is favored in polar solvent means what the products are stable in polar solvent and if you use polar solvent then the reaction will be faster okay if the reaction is favored in polar solvent and if you use a non polar solvent then what will happen the reaction will get reversed means you will not get the uh, product or you will get but little amount of product only you will get okay why because whatever product has formed that will be stable in polar solvent but instead you are using what non polar solvent then the product will not be stable so the reaction will be backwards you understanding it similarly if the reaction is favored in non polar solvent and if you use a polar solvent again what will happen your product is stable in non polar solvent therefore the reaction will be going back as you have used uh, polar solvent so this you have to keep in your mind so uh, based on the stability of the product uh, you have to choose the solvent you understanding it so if you are using the opposite kind of solvent then there will be what uh, backward reaction will be taking place so generally what we can say now based on our uh, so far discussion <clears throat> so now what we can say see simple if the if the reactant and reactants are polar in nature what we can say a reaction is faster this uh, i mean arrow mark uh, represents what r refers to rate rate is high if both are non polar non polar plus non polar means both the reacting species are non polar then the rate will be very low this you have to remember what if the reacting species both are polar means rate will be higher and if both are non polar then the rate will be less or lower then if you have this kind polar plus non polar then the rate is then the rate is moderate moderate or in simple words it means medium okay means it's not too fast or not too low okay let us see one example for this okay example for this is say inversion of sucrose so c12 h22 o11 so cross when dissolved in water you will get what glucose plus fructose c6h12o6 plus c6h12o6 one is glucose and another one is fructose this is your so cross see so cross is non polar this is what non polar and this is polar okay so when non polar and polar reacting you will get the re i mean the rate of this reaction will be what moderate medium not too low not even too fast it will be in between so based on in one mark sometimes in the competitive examinations they will be asking uh, if the reactants nature is ionic or polar then what about the rate is it slow or fast or sometimes they will give you like this examples okay then you have to identify whether the reactants are polar in nature or covalent in nature or it is uh, it is a reaction involving polar plus non polar that you have to identify and come to a conclusion okay now next uh, sometimes in the question paper or in in the twisted form how they'll ask is see uh, it will take uh, in terms of bond if they ask here all right okay in terms of uh, bond means what if there is a single bond plus single bond if they require less energy for uh, for the breaking of these two single bonds you will be requiring uh, less energy so this will be faster okay and if double bond is there and a single bond is there again compared to this it will be slow slower than double bond plus double bond then again it will be slow 
देन अगेन ट्रिपल बॉन्ड प्लस डबल बॉन्ड लाइक दिस मेनी विल मेनी कॉम्बिनेशन विल बी कमिंग वॉट आई मीन सी हियर आई कैन कंपेयर दीज टू और दीज टू और दीज टू और दीज टू लाइक दिस okay what you have to look into what type of bonds are breaking and what type of bonds are forming based on that you have to answer here if they are asking in this term you have to look into okay how many bonds are broken and how many bonds are formed or what type of bond is breaking and what type of bond is forming see if a double bond breaks and two single bonds are forming that will be higher why because the formation of single bond you will require less energy so the reaction will be faster but not like this okay obviously you require more energy to break the double bond okay so like this you have to use your common sense and answer so students uh, now we will understand the second factor that is uh, surface area okay so how does surface area will affect the rate of a reaction here directly i have written as that larger the surface area then faster will be the uh, rate of the reaction now the question comes why simple examples i'll give so that you will understand if i take a log of wood okay log of wood uh, hope you can understand it's a big piece of wood it is a big piece of wood if i take it and if i start to burn what will happen is see only few uh, part of the this wood is available for the reaction like see this part is available and only this part is available this inside part is not available so what will happen this part has to go on burning okay so it will take more time to you know more time for the completion of burning but if i cut it into pieces what will happen see here i have made small small pieces earlier as i have said this portion inside was not available directly means what first this part has to be consumed then slowly these parts will be consumed but if if i break into pieces then what will happen see this part means this much means earlier this part was not exposed now this part is exposed now again middle part again this part was not exposed now this part is exposed again this part was not exposed now it is exposed here so what will happen as the surface area increases what will happen more number of atoms or molecules or ions will be available will be available for the reaction so that the reaction will take place faster very simple or this one at least you will understand it very easily second one that is see uh, what i'm trying to do is i want to dissolve the salt in water okay and the salt is available in two form one is a rock salt and another is in powder okay if i uh, take nacl crystal okay means that is in crystal crystalline form hope you all have seen the crystalline form of this nacl big uh, crystals will be there and if i add that to crystal and try to dissolve in water it will not to dissolve that easily you, when you break into pieces means when you make it powder larger ions are available so when larger ions are available obviously the solubility will increase so for like this i can give many examples but i hope from these two examples you can understand that when more surface area of the reactants are available for the reaction then the reaction will takes place faster okay so understand that larger the surface area larger or faster the reaction will takes place now next we have to see is uh, third one that is how some of the radiations will affect the rate of the reaction so students now we will study the third factor <clears throat> that is light or radiation now <clears throat> already in the previous year uh, you know that radiation is nothing but the, uh, it is also one of the source of energy and we know that e is equal to nh nu where what is meant by n n is meant by the number of photons what do you mean by photons small packets of energy okay isn't it so what is new frequency of radiation we know that energy of the radiation is directly pro proportional to the frequency isn't it if the frequency is higher energy will be higher okay so now see what will happen there are uh, not many but there are some reactions uh, which will takes place in presence of like uh, ultraviolet radiation or visible light 
okay for example here when hydrogen reacts with the chlorine in presence of certain radiations it will be giving you hydrogen chloride or hcl okay then similarly when methane gas reacts with the chlorine in presence of sunlight we will get a mixture of products you will get what mixture of product like here there are uh, what are the mixtures that we can get that i have written okay so uh, and see some of the reaction in presence of some of the light okay uh, they will takes place and they will be usually rapid they will be take place uh, taking place with a faster rate okay as i have said earlier there are not much of the reactions which are influenced by the uh, light or certain radiations okay there are only few uh, reactions which are affected by the light okay so this is regarding the uh, today we have studied uh, three factors affecting uh, how they affect okay so let's have a revision of this thing okay then tomorrow we can or in the next class we can continue with these uh, other three factors so first one that is if you uh, look into the nature of reactants product uh, uh, what we can say or what we concluded saying that if your reactants are ionic in nature then the reaction takes place faster and if the products are stable in polar solvent the solvent that you use must be polar if you use non polar then the reaction will takes place backward so that you have to uh, consider okay if the reactants are covalent in nature then uh, the reaction will be little bit slower compared to ionic reactions if they ask the reason why ionic reactions are faster than covalent uh, then answer is simple in case of ionic species there exist no actual bond there exist a strong electrostatic force of attraction but in case of covalent species uh, there is there is a presence of actual bond therefore in covalent reactions um, old bond have to be broken and uh, there has to be a formation of new bonds so there will be more time required more energy is required hence the reaction will be slower okay second one we have seen that is the surface area what we have concluded that larger the surface area of the reactants are available for the reaction then the reaction will be faster okay then the third one that is light uh, now what we have concluded is that there are not so many of the reactions are affected by the light or radiations but there are certain reactions which will takes place in presence of the uh, light or radiations and we will use usually ultraviolet radiations or visible light why these are uh, used uh, because you see the energy of these two radiations is almost equal to most of the bond energies okay therefore we usually use this uv rays and visible rays okay so now these are the three factors so in the next class we shall study about the next three factors okay thank you so much students